What is happening is that we are having what are described as coup d'etats in former French colonies. But from where I sit, these are revolutions. The young men and women in uniform are rising up against a colonial power that refused to leave and continues to control their affairs. And because the civilians are helpless, they are coming out of the barracks and saying, we must put a stop to this continued colonization by the French. They control our politics, they control our economy, they control our resources. And what we must do, therefore, is to support these initiatives and ensure that the dividends that are earned are then converted very quickly into civilian rule. I'm one who will not condemn those coups because they have been necessitated by an overbearing neo-colonizer, the French. What needs to be done is that people must reclaim their territory. Those who are elected into public office must stop being pawns in the political chessboard of neo-colonizers. They must serve their people. They must do what is in the interest of their people, whether it's in Mali, Guinea, uh, Burkina Faso, or Niger, or Chad. If they don't do that, then young men and women who are dissatisfied, who can see their countries being raped, will continue to rise up in the manner that they are. That would be a very unfortunate step. A very unfortunate step. In fact, those who observe are now seeing ECOWAS as an agent of imperialist powers, and I hope that sense will prevail and that dialogue will be allowed to take place and that these individuals who have seized power militarily for a good cause will then be allowed to midwife the transition to civilian rule. We should not be shifting loyalty or having loyalty with anybody or to anybody. We should be loyal to ourselves. And when we are loyal to ourselves, then we will engage with the world on terms that are favorable to us and to them. We should not shift loyalty to anybody. Who says we must be loyal to anybody? We are not children of a lesser God.